everyone, Sherlock Number One here, and welcome back. Today we are reacting to or doing a rewatch of Jurassic Park Three. Now I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I haven't seen it in a long time because that would be a huge lie. I've watched this dozens of times, but why am I reacting to it on my channel? Well, one, because I just love the movie. Two, Dr. Alan Grant is iconic, so I mean, of course. And number three is it's still arguably my favorite. So I thought I'd love to share my reaction and thoughts with you guys. Action, this is Jurassic Park 3. Absolutely not. Uh, I think they're dead, Eric. See, I was gonna say, why couldn't they like lower themselves down and then like stay on those little rocks? But it's probably even worse to stay on those because I mean, the tide and then the animals that clearly killed them. I think your chances on the island, but I mean, either way, you're kind of really screwed. Ah, the icon! Okay, really quick. I know everybody was so upset that these two didn't get together. And then, huge spoiler alert, in the last um, Jurassic World Dominion, they actually got together. I didn't think it was necessary. I think the whole reason that they made them get together in the very last movie was because everybody was so salty about this whole encounter and how they weren't together in this one. I don't know. I didn't. It didn't bother me like at all. I guess I just wasn't part of the ship that was like, oh, these two really belong together. That's quite a crowded room for people who aren't doing so well funding wise. That is why we continue to be and ask for support. Thanks. Standing ovation. Woo! You're saying that you wouldn't want to get onto East Lake Florida and study them? Oh my gosh. No force on Earth for You would think so. Highly recommended. Like, in what in what credentials exactly? Because for, knowing what this mission is, like they're gonna be fighting dinosaurs. How do you go around asking, like, on Craigslist, like, hey, I need dinosaur hunters, maybe demolition experts? Oh, thanks for inviting yourself, Billy. That's great. I love that they choose a bar too. I don't know if that's the joke, but like, of, of all places, they choose a bar. Oh boy. What about Ellie Sadler? I mean, I guess she's retired. She doesn't do this kind of shit anymore. This dude's just throwing away money like it's Monopoly money, like just writing checks, throwing cash. No. Man, how do you get yourself into these things? I mean, you just, you just take money and you sign up for just anything for here. Oh, it's so magical. Cooper's gonna get his karma. What are they doing? Setting up a perimeter. Shut up, Mr. Kirby. You have no idea what's safe. There's no such thing as safe. We have to get back on that plane. We tell your wife to stop making that noise. That is a very, very bad, bad idea. Amanda? Ben? Amanda, honey, Dr. Grant said that's a bad ben? idea. What? He says it's a bad idea. Oh my gosh. Idea. You guys are so loud. What's a bad idea? Yeah, dipstick. What do you mean, what was that? You're on a dinosaur island, you don't know what that is? It's they were totally ready to leave this guy. I guess survival of the fittest, I mean, shit. Oh! Well, shoot. 
Oh, now we're all dead. Oh, he's got to be the first to go. Okay, so just sit still. Don't move. See, why did you start moving? Would have at least had maybe a, like a slight bit of a chance to live a few more seconds if you wouldn't move. Oh my gosh, it looks like a dog digging through the trash. The, uh, the amount of cardio you would need in a Jurassic Park movie, like, I, I would simply probably die, because I don't know that I have the cardio. It's like in a zombie apocalypse, I don't know that I have the cardio to run around and especially in tall grass and shit. He was 12? Dude, I don't know. Honestly, at 12, do you think that any of us could have survived as a 12-year-old on this island? I don't know. Oh my gosh. How big a drop was that? That couldn't have been a very big drop. Super awkward. Okay, she needs to quit screaming, but also, like, I kind of get it. Like, that's her dead boyfriend's corpse on her. But, like, she also is the worst person to have in a high stress situation. She's literally gonna get every single person killed if she keeps yelling like that. Here we go. Now this is actually quite a clever idea. You could just like break the glass and get a bunch of food and put it in like your backpacks and stuff. Yeah, I don't know why they just take a couple bags. Why wouldn't you load up your backpack so you have food for a while? I mean, I know it's more to carry, but like a couple bags is not gonna add that much weight, I would think. What the, what's the worst time to pull a muscle right now? Like that would, this would be the worst time to freaking pull a muscle and not be able to walk properly. Those chips probably are stale though. I, I don't know, they probably wouldn't be too stale because they're sealed. Very careful. I would be so careful about where I go, where, you know, being off on my own, I would be so nervous. See, does this look like, like this would make a lot of sense? Clearly that thing is not inside that jar. Oop. Dude, no. See? Now you're yelling again and you're just gonna make everything else come around. This dude's got a lot on his back. See, why wouldn't you, like, try to make sure you everyone's together, or at least that people are together? Shoot, I hate this scene. I hate this scene. I'm not, I can't even. I don't want to watch this part. Oh, I hate this part. No. Okay, so Alan, you know that dinosaurs do this pop up thing. So I would get to high ground. Yeah, see, that's why. Because now you're going to get this one, and then you're going to get another one, and they're all going to crowd around. And they know you have the freaking A. Oh, son of a gun. Uh, he kind of got dragged into this. That's a way to phrase it. I always wondered, what is that? That's like, are they beans or is it like, it can't be ground beef. It's gotta be something that's like, able to hold its freshness. Kind of preachy. 
That's Malcolm for you. How could you hear that all the way over there? I mean, what if you were on two completely separate sides of the island? I guess there's not a lot of people yelling, so if you hear yelling, you're like, that's one person. I feel like everybody needs to stop yelling, though. That would be great. Well, shit. Hi. That da- or that- ugh. That dinosaur is really dramatic to have just stood there while they were having this dialogue. Come on! Well, it's not safe with you either because you're with them. I mean, honestly, who's to say they wouldn't have, like, been interested in, like, killing you anyway, but I'm sure the eggs didn't help. I love that Alan Grant has to be, like, the trailblazer. He has to be the one to try everything first. Two and two together. Dinosaur park and there's birds. Oh. Yeah, and he's got lots of time. Big time. Oh, jeez. I love this. Alan Grant's gonna kick it. <laughs> he just kicked it. I think who's gonna be more badass than Alan Brand just kicks a freaking pterodactyl? No one else is doing it. Oh. Ugh. Why is it steaming? Gross. She didn't hear that. How is she Hello? supposed to know where you're at? I'm not sure what the plan is here. It's just a distraction, but like you're putting yourself in harm's way at this point now. Like, what is your plan here? Ooh, there's still fire. These things just pop out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. Everybody get down. We don't want to fight. We don't want no trouble. Aw, yay. Well, the lead. 